Hey there, everybody. Welcome back with the Plapper Platypus is the name. And we have now officially gotten our very first new banner in Echoes of Mana. As you can see, I got over 40,000 gems. I've spent zero doll hairs. So first, um, we're going to just do a kind of a unit review slash banner review for this. Uh, take a look at it. Um, and then after this video comes out, probably not too long after that, um, we're going to be doing a poll video to see what I get. Not exactly sure how much I'm going to pull, um, but we'll, we'll see. But either way, we are going to do a troll, uh, a troll video. Yeah, that, that's basically what it is. Um, but also we're going to end up doing this trial battle as well, just to kind of get a feel. But first let's actually just read the details of the banner and I'm actually going to mute this. So we don't have to hear that same voice line again and again, and I'll turn it back on in a second here. All right. For guided by the great tree harvest, you can harvest one for 300 or you get 10 for 2700. So this has the same 10% off. Essentially, you get one free if you do it in increments of 10. So the same discount does apply to me. That means they've set the precedent that they will do this for all of them going forward. Now, there's nothing in writing that says that, but two banners in a row, row both with this. Um, it makes me feel like it's. It's relatively safe to assume that they'll do 27 spirit crystals, but you know, that's not guaranteed or anything like that. And also on the 10th, you're guaranteed a three star or higher. That's nice. Um, mostly for I actually, you know, I haven't pulled that much. I don't know which really good three star units are. So we'll, we'll figure it out in my pull video. Um, da -da -da -da. and he's got a gem as well. Featured four star ally echo. So let's take a look at this guy. So first this is a wind sword unit. So this is a little disappointing between the last banner having a wind unit on it that a lot of people re-rolled for and the prim that they gave us being a wind unit and Randy being another unit they gave us also being wind. We've also we've already had three wind characters that people all likely have. So it feels weird to get another wind character immediately, but that doesn't mean that they're bad. They could be the best wind character. I don't know, um, but it's just something that is worth noting. Um, I assume these stats are going to be skills and support skills are displayed with uh, a way get it a four star ally stats displayed in parentheses are when at six stars. Okay, so I'm not really sure um, that strength seems low to me. But again, I don't know base stats that well um, because it, this is this yet. The stats aren't that important to me yet in a review. Um, they will become more important as I gain more information and understand what more is standard. Um, but I don't have a lot of maxed out units, right? It's still early in the game. A lot of your stats are coming from your equipment, stuff like that. So I'm not sure how how good these base stats are. So I'm going to refrain from talking about those too much and more talk about the kit. Deal physical damage, damage boost by ST level. Okay, I mean, I'm sure it's cool. We'll try that out um, in the fight. I'm sure it's going on in the video behind us, but we'll just see it for ourselves. Deals uh, sword physical damage, damage boost by S level. Okay, so again very very basic this is all it's all going to depend on animation and like the, the speed of the animation and the damage itself this doesn't actually say anything right gain super armor and 45 percent constitution so i'm just going to be honest this character is boring as shit so far in terms of this um these skills are skill exact cookie cutter of other four stars we've seen in the game leading me to believe that this is a character that was going to be in the initial launch but maybe they pushed it back so they had more time to develop more characters because this feels like a very much at launch character based off the simplicity of the kit. And same thing, initial ST gauge 100%, but we've got a, when combo is 30 plus strength plus 10% for self and paired ally, that, that is some power right there. Um, I don't know what Keldrick is. Oh no, no, that's what it is. Uh, sorry. The, this is two separate skills. Um, in combos 30 plus strength plus 10 percent that's a lot 10 percent is a big deal so i'm actually a big fan of that um oh is uh it looks like reese is on here as well and duran are they duran are they in sumo okay well these aren't all hopefully i mean maybe even if they're on there um hopefully they're not all considered featured i mean i could still use some of these characters there's no doubt about that like i'm not my kid is not done um i'm sorry that there's no sound okay let's see here all right, so that's his thing. Let's go down to see the memory gem. Overall, uh, we're going to really feel what he feels like in battle. Feel what he feels, feels, feels. Um, on wind attack, normal attack 
and skill damage plus 30%. Whoa. That's a fat number, bro. We want that. We want that. We Again, like I just, this is perfect. Like I said, we got a lot of win shit in the game right now. All right. A lot of characters, a lot of accounts, strongest characters um, are win characters. So this is really, really good. I really like this. And these ones are probably more like the normal kits, right? Okay. So let's not worry about that. Okay. So I can already tell you that memory gem is nuts, uh, which I really, really want. The featured four star, which I believe is just the one. You know, normal rates. Is it boosted? Yeah, I guess, right? Right? I, I always have a hard time reading this. A four star, 1.5. Okay, okay, I get it. So four stars are 1.5%, but in addition, you also have a 1.5% to get the specific four star. So it is pretty significantly boosted because it's not being diluted by a large amount. Um, right, 0 0.25, 0 0.25, 0 0.25, 0 0.25, 1.5% for the banner unit here. 1.5 is not that bad either. Um, what is the, is it 1.5 on the, oh man, the memory gem's twice as rare. Aim for wind acorns. It's twice as rare as the featured four-star unit. That's pretty brutal. Um, this might be one of those things that, this might be one of those games where you want to go wait until you can hit pity before you go, and then you do 20 pulls, and then you use the things to buy the thing you want, but Again, there being doubles, there being a unit and a memory gem on the banner means you're you're very unlikely to get everything you want from the banner. But because it's a gotcha, you get a lot of gems. You're still likely to get a lot of good stuff. But I do think that this is going to be the kind of game you're going to want to wait till pity because the rates are. I'm not going to say the rates are bad, but they're not very good, and there doesn't there's not a rollover pity system, right? So if you're like, oh, okay, I pull 50 times on this, I didn't get it. You're not 50 towards your pity on the next character, right? And I think that's a I think things like Genshin and My uh, My Hero, Strongest Hero do that, but those games are also referred to as like very, very terrible pricing models, very expensive. So maybe that that being the pity system is actually a bad sign. I don't think you could say that that's a bad pity system. Everyone, would, I think everyone would prefer a rolling over pity system um, for the most part. That way you're always making progress. I think it encourages you to pull on every banner, but... Anyway, we're going to go and try this kind of trial battle. I haven't done the trial battle yet, so I'm quite, kind of excited. How long is this video? Seven and a half minutes? That's good. This is going to be about a ten minute video, alright? Let's make sure we turn everyone off. Auto off, alright? Okay, what do you do? Ooh, man, that's flashy. Okay, let's check this out. I like that, you know? It doesn't have any special effect. It seems like it's a little dull, but it is, it's a pretty fast release. Like, Durant, I think, takes longer. And then you can get that, okay. There we go. Honestly, I mean, it all seems pretty good. He seems like a pretty fast character. How does your, uh, sword attacks are very basic. Actually, like, look how slow this is. One, two, three, and then... Like, that's almost the exact same time as a full 2-3, but then you do this. You hit, like, five times for more damage, while also, um, in the almost the same amount of time. That feels a little long, but it is very cool. I won't lie, I'm a big fan of that attack. And this doesn't do anything, right? I mean, this isn't part of his, like, kit. Oh, look at He actually takes damage. Oh, and they take damage, too, actually. That's kind of interesting. Okay. Overall, you know, the, it's a simple character. You're not going to get, like, a lot of novelty out of him, especially if you have things like that. But as a support, if you get one of him, he becomes a great support character. Well, that's not true, right? You need to get, you have to get the uh, the passive on level two, I think. Because I think the first one you get, you get the, you start the battle with this charge. The second one, I think, is when you get the passive ability. It might be a weapon upgrade, but... Yeah, I mean, I do think when your combo gets to 30, getting 30% 30 more damage, or sorry, 10% more strength is just, like, kind of nuts. At least comparatively to what we've seen in the game right now. 10% strength for a support is pretty darn good. I mean, I think you can get, like, a default always, like, 5 to 6%. Um, but, all right. I think we got that. I think we understand what's going on there. Anyway, overall, so what do I think of the banner? I like a lot... Can I, can, can I get out of here? No. 
I know how to get out of here. No, there we go. There we go. The back button. Um, so I really like the 10% off kind of deal that they got going on. What is what is this? Did you get uneven? Stop it. Um, I think that's a pretty good deal. I dislike the lack of rolling over pity, but that's that's more of the banner system in this game. As for the specific banner, I think that memory gem is pretty great. Um, I think it's definitely the star, honestly. I do think this character is pretty good. Maybe a little redundant. However, I do think the fact that he's wind means he, he pairs very well with something like um, uh, Reese. Reese? I, I'm sorry. I don't even know how to say her name. Rise. Um, pairs very well with her, right? Because she's a great combo enabler. She does lots of hits, lots of cool stuff. Um, and then she, he's just going to make her even stronger. And he's a formidable unit on his own, no doubt. Um, very fast. He, he, again, a little bit boring. He feels like he might have been in the game initially and then pushed back. He doesn't feel like a character that was created after the fact. Like, there's no power creep on this banner, uh, to say the least. Um, but that card is great, so I'm going to be going for that card. And I am going to be going for this character. I think he's still going to be pretty good for the um, almost all accounts. But if you're already pretty heavy on wind, you may not need it. Um, but again, it's always kind of nice to have a full team of wind as well. But still, overall, I think that's everything I have to say, guys. Thank you so much. I'm just be rambling if I go past this point. Uh, let me know what you think about this video. And if you want to see more, leave a like, comment, subscribe, yada, yada, blah, blah, blah. Bye.